Hello everyone, it's Zort Rider here with another Transformers review uh, and I'm here to talk about Titans Return Misfire. Uh, now, I have already opened this guy. When I do do a review, usually I will keep it in the packet and film that part first. But because I got this guy on Thursday and I was really excited to open him, the packaging is now gone. But what I did do beforehand is take a photograph of some of the packaging. So if we start off with the front, it's your bog standard Titan Return image. Uh, I'll put an image of it here. It's uh, basically Misfire up the top left hand corner with his head decapitating or taking off. So pretty standard artwork that we're used to by now. On the back, you'll see just some normal product shots, really. It shows you how many steps Misfire transforms in. It's, it's the stuff now. I mean, come on now, this is way five of these figures. We, we kind of know what the packaging is all about by now. But you do get, as well, Misfire's little card, which is still in the plastic box, because I've packed my card album away, uh, unfortunately. But there we are, there's Misfire. And you'll also see his tech specs on the back. Now, Brad did mention something. Uh, um, those of you who don't know, Brad's done an amazing video on Misfire already. Um, and what Brad mentioned is that some people were actually tempted to put a sticker on this section here. And I might know the reason why. If you look at the artwork, you can see it's not the right colour for a start, but there is a Decepticon symbol there. Um, I might actually be in that camp. I've got some free stickers with um, this guy from Indeman Toys, some Toy Hacks ones, and I think it would look really good with a Decepticon sticker, so I might stick that on towards the end of the video. Now, as Brad mentioned in his video, a little misfire here tends to pull homages out of nowhere. I wonder if he'll pull any homages through this video. Hello everybody, and welcome to another Misfire Collectibles knockoff, oversized, Satsuma review. So let's start off with his robot mode, and he's this beautiful shade of kind of cerise pink. It's got a lot of tapograph details on there, like the Decepticon logos, some ones on their legs that are pretty G1 toy accurate, as well as some silver there. Um, he's mainly this pink plastic colour, though. The head sculpt is amazing. He's got a wonderful lilac face. Uh, and the visor looks great. It, it's it's a brilliant, brilliant head sculpt. Um, it's got a bit of red paint and white paint there as well. He's a very, very good figure. Uh, let's touch on build quality first. He feels exactly the same as Trigger Happy to me. The legs are fractionally looser than you th would like them to be, but they don't actually stop. They don't pop off, they don't stop him from standing up. It's just fractionate. Even, they don't really rock either when you shake them. It just it feels that little bit loose, especially this leg. But it's not a problem. Oh, I love this car, it's amazing. As soon as you hit 3,500 RPM, there's like a power band that cuts in and it, it takes off and it just pulls like a horse in fifth gear. It's absolutely incredible. Let's go through articulation. Now the head can do a full 360 um, and obviously it can come off. Oh, not my bloody head as well. And it is quite a tight fit, this head. Uh, the arms can do, well, they can't do a full 360 because of the wings. You do get this double joint, which gives you some more articulation if you want his shoulder to be hanging off maybe as part of transformation. You can move up. You have got a, a, a bicep swivel. You haven't got a wrist swivel as such, but the bicep swivel kind of makes up for that in a way kind of uh you have got a wrist a wrist a waist swivel as you can see it can do a full 360 legs can go forward and back they can do the full van damme knees can go all the way back like so and obviously his legs can go forward like that and his toes and, and heel spurs are, are one piece of plastic. Oh, no, they're not, actually. They're, they're independent. So they do go up and down, but there is no tilt there. Uh, yeah, so articulation-wise, not too bad. bit restricted with the wings, but I suppose you can move these back if you really wanted to 
to do the, the 4 three sixty. if that was the look you were looking for, but then you've got this horrible mess at the back. Let's have a look at the back, and you know what? It's not too bad, is it, really? Um, everything folds away quite nicely. He's a good figure. He, he, he's everything that was great about Trigger Happy, and bearing in mind he's the same mould, they do transform differently, uh, and I believe the only parts that haven't been remoulded are the legs. The legs look very similar, and I haven't got Trigger Happy out at the moment. So, shall we have a look at the Titan Master? Hefty, robust, glorious. This guy has a lot of paint on him. Well, I say a lot of paint. He's got his visor and his face painted. How much better does that look as a Titan Master? It looks really, really good. Um, we won't really be displaying them like this, because he's not going to be headless unless you... Might want to make him into some kind of mutant robot crab thing. Uh, you're not going to be displaying this. I mean, you might you might display him in vehicle mode, I suppose. But uh, it's it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch, and I write that. Now, of course, the the Titan Master can do all the things a Titan Master can. He can move his legs backwards together and forwards together, and his arms can move independently. Um, but it's a good little Titan Master. I think, to be honest with you. Head sculpt wise and Titan Master wise, probably one of the best. Transformation is simple yet satisfying. Um, it's a great looking alien space jet. It's fantastic. It it really does look like he did in the G1 cartoon, and that is exactly the look that we want as fans. Uh, the paintwork looks great. Uh, the bottom cleans up quite well. There's a bit of a gap here, but you know what? You can forgive that. And Mr. Titan Master, who I forgot his name, uh, can fit into the cockpit. Like so. It's a great looking art mode. It's a great figure full stop, to be honest with you. I, I really rate it. Uh, back doesn't clean up the best, but does that really matter? I think I think the G1 misfire had little rockets on the back. Not rockets, like little thrusters. And uh, mine's broken off, uh, unfortunately. So maybe it's TFA. And I'm, I'm going through what I should buy there. And I, I want to maybe get a new misfire. Maybe a complete G1 one. Maybe. We'll see. But he's a great representation. And I can't wait for Slug Slingo. I really can't. Uh, to have the three of them together. And yes, I know they're not Target Masters in this line. But you know what? They look fantastic. And they're great representation of the characters. What a monster. What an absolute beast of a machine. Misfire does come with two guns uh, that do join together to make this double-barreled seat. And if you were to take said Titan Master and stick that in his gun, you've got that look going. Uh, I don't think there's any way you can actually plug it in like that uh, on Misfire in vehicle mode. I don't think there is. What you can do is you can separate these guns and you can attach them under the wings somehow, like so. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And you can also take his guns and pop one in either hand if you do wish. So there you go. Pretty cool looking figure. Um, what I like to do, and it is your choice, is I like to put them as a double barrel gun that reminds me of uh, Aimless, his target master from the cartoon. And by putting them together like so, just gives them a little bit of a different look. So all in all... Uh, an amazing, amazing toy. Normally, as we come to the end of a Transformers line, we're, we're stuck with repaints and just basically straight up repaints of, of some figures. The repaints and the retools in this line have been absolutely amazing, and we're still getting great quality figures today. Um, every figure in this line, Twin Twist and Windblade, I know there are only three moulds that are different and a couple of re releases, but each one of them are spot on, and I can recommend getting the entire wave if you're tempted. Um, these two, him and Twin Twist, were on my TFN list, and let me tell you the reason why I bought them before TFN. Uh, me and Dave Shotton were having a, a chat, and basically about like some of our hauls we've had uh, over the last few years, and sometimes some robots get neglected. Um, you buy them and you don't pay them as much attention because you've got all this stuff. Um, so I didn't want to, I didn't want these two guys to be lost in the ether a little bit. 
So I thought I'd pick him and Twin Twist stuff. They're in stock on in demand toys. They were here within a two days of me ordering them. And having my entire collection packed up has gave me some really quality time with him and Twin Twist and I'm really, really enjoying them and I'm happy I've got them before TFN. Um, if you do want these at TFN now, I highly recommend them. The line, to me, has been the best in years. Um, I know some part, uh, some people call it first-party trash. Um, this is far from trash. This is, this is brilliant. This is exactly the type of toys that we dreamed of having when we were kids. And... For kids now, it must be amazing to play with these things, even though they don't understand the nostalgia behind them. But for us collectors, this line has been amazing. And long may it continue into the power of the primes. Um, I know some people are a little bit unsure about that line, and I am going to do my thoughts on that. But this line has been amazing. And if you want a misfire, go and get yourself a misfire. Make a big boy now. So um, I've looked back at this video and you know what, I've took the mick out of wilderness quite a lot over the last couple of months and you know what, just to show that I'm not a complete arsehole and I actually do genuinely like the work he does. Um, I know in one of his videos he bought one of the hot soldiers uh, sound waves, those little mini sound waves, I've done a review of one, uh, and he was saying he maybe wished he'd got the sound blaster instead. Well, um, as a thanks for being a good sport, mate, I've ordered you one from Kapow Toys and uh, I'll hand that over to you at TFM, mate. I uh, hope we can still have a drink and have a good chat and all that stuff. Um, take care. See you soon.